It's mission completed for a Montana-based group of female firefighters. MTN's Gabby Krevit is in the studio and has more. That's right, the Women's Fire Crew was created in 2017 as a partnership between the Montana Conservation Corps and the Bureau of Land Management. The program gives women an opportunity to receive training in wildland firefighting and habitat restoration. And the 2019 crew just returned from their first assignment in Alaska. The Montana Conservation Corps' women's crew began in 2017 after a telling observation. The BLM, or the Bureau of Land Management, decided that um, they had been having several challenges with engaging women in wildland firefighting. Some of the average percentage rates were like around 10% of all wildland firefighters are women, if not less. Today, the women's fire crew provides training opportunities for fuel reduction projects and habitat restoration. While the crew works out of the state of Montana, training, which consists of heavy chainsaw use and prescribed burns, primarily takes place on BLM land in Wyoming. The 2019 crew is made up of seven members and two crew leaders. The crew just returned back to Montana after 14 days of working on assignment in Alaska. So we were, on the 337 fire or the Hadwinsic River, um, which became a part of the Cornucopia Complex, and it was about 30 miles west of Fort Yukon. The Montana Conservation Corps' women's fire crew provides a unique opportunity for women to experiment or break into their careers in wildland firefighting. The program addresses the gender disparity in wildland firefighting and provides women with the training they need to enter the field confidently. They're going to be probably at a higher level than most of the other members on that crew because they have that background. And with that comes a sense of uh, confidence and ability to be able to speak to what they're doing and move forward and hopefully, in our eyes, take on a greater leadership role. Many previous members of the crew have moved forward to make a career out of wildland firefighting, and many who do not pursue it as a career still find the experience to be rewarding. If this type of work is super empowering. It was for me anyway. I got chainsaw trained three years ago and running a big power tool like that is pretty cool when you know you've been told when you're younger that you can't even like run the lawnmower. In Bozeman, Gabby Krevit, MTN News. The crew is heading back to Wyoming today for training. Back to you. Okay, thank you Gabby.